Hello everyone. In this video, let us see verification of law of conservation of energy using an example of freely falling body. First, let us define what is law of conservation of energy. Definition. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can be converted from one form to another. Total energy of a system always remains constant. Total energy of a system always remains constant. This is called law of conservation of energy. So here we cannot cre create energy and we cannot destroy it. Just the energy is converted from one form to another. If we take example of a fan, electrical energy is converted into kinetic energy. Electric lamp, electrical energy is converted into heat energy and light energy. Water pump, electrical energy is converted into kinetic energy, right? And it is converted into potential energy when water is stored in the overhead tank. So these are some of the examples where we can say that energy is converted from one form to another and the total energy of a system always remains constant. Let us take example of freely falling body. Freely falling body. To prove, to verify law of conservation of energy. Here is the diagram of freely falling body. At position A, body is at rest. So, velocity of the body is zero. At position B, let us consider some position of a freely falling body that is B. Right? Here the velocity of the body is V1. When the, when the body is at position A, the height of the body from the ground is H. When body reaches to position B, as it is falling freely, the distance traveled by the body from position A to position B is X. And the distance from position B to position C when it reaches the ground, the height is here H minus X because total height is H and the height from A position to B position is X. Right? So this is the diagram which we are going to use to prove law of conservation of energy. Let us start with position A at position A. At position A, velocity is zero. Right? As velocity is zero, the expression for kinetic energy is kinetic energy expression is kinetic energy of the body. That is equals to the expression is half mv square. As v is equals to 0, 0 square is 0, 0 into something, it is 0. Therefore, kinetic energy is equals to 0. Because body is at rest at position A. The total mechanical energy, total mechanical energy at A. At position A. That is mechanical energy at position A is equals to kinetic energy plus potential energy. And potential energy at position A is height is H from position A to ground, right? And expression for potential energy is potential energy of the 
body that is equals to m is the mass of the body g is acceleration due to gravity h is height of the body from the ground so from this we can write mechanical energy at position a therefore mechanical energy at position a is equals to kinetic energy is zero plus potential energy is mgh zero plus something it's something so then we can write mechanical energy at position a is equals to mgh that is potential energy when body is at rest at position a at a height h from the ground the total mechanical energy of the body is mgh let us highlight this and we will compare this total mechanical energy at the end at different positions now let us see mechanical energy at position b at position b at position b so let us check the diagram right let the body is allowed to fall freely under the action of gravity in free fall let the body reaches the point b with a velocity v1 where the distance a b is equals to x okay let us use equations of motion from equation of motion from equation of motion which equation of motion third equation of motion v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s right initial velocity of the body is 0 at position a that is u is equals to 0 and final velocity at position b is v1 right and distance traveled s is equals to here x the distance from point a to point b that is position a to b the distance is here x right let us substitute the terms then we can write this as v square is here v1 square minus u is here 0 square is equals to here acceleration is acceleration due to gravity right 2 a is here g s is here x 0 square is 0 something minus 0 is something that is v1 square is equals to 2 g x so we got velocity of the body at position b now kinetic energy of the body kinetic energy of the body we know expression of kinetic energy that is half m v square here velocity is v1 square right so then we know v1 square that is 2gx let us substitute 2gx in kinetic energy expression then we can write this as half into m into 2gx here 2 and 2 get cancel then we can write this as m g x what is this kinetic energy of the body kinetic energy of the body kinetic energy of the body is what mg x let us find potential energy of the body potential energy of the body at position b potential energy of the body right so here potential energy if you see the diagram if we see the diagram the body is at position b right and uh, the distance from position b to position c is h minus x right then i can write potential energy of the body at position b is mass of the body is m acceleration due to gravity is g and h is here h minus x right so then i can write this as mg into h mgh minus mg into x mgx now total mechanical energy at at position b total 
mechanical energy at position D is equals to kinetic energy plus potential energy. What is kinetic energy here? Kinetic energy is mgx. That is mgx plus potential energy is mgh minus mgx. Right? So, plus mgx minus mgx get cancelled. So, leftover is mechanical energy at position B is equals to mgh. Let us highlight this. Mechanical energy at position B, how much it is? mgh. Right? Now, let us see at position C. At position C. At position C, from third equation of motion, from V square minus U square is equals to 2AS. We know that for a freely falling body, initial velocity is 0. Acceleration is acceleration due to gravity and uh, height. The distance travelled is from position A to position C is H. S is equals to H, right? And velocity of the body and reaching the ground in the diagram is, what is velocity of the body and reaching the ground? That is V and total height is H. So, velocity is V and final velocity is V. Let us substitute these terms. V square minus 0 square is equals to 2gh 0 square is 0 something minus 0 is something then we can write this v square is equals to 2gh and kinetic energy of the body is kinetic energy of the body is equals to half mv square here v square is what 2gh then i can write this as half into m into 2gh so here 2 and 2 get cancelled, right? And I can write kinetic energy of the body, kinetic energy of the body is equals to mgh, right? Now let us see potential energy of the body at point C. Potential energy of the body. Height is 0 because body is finally on the ground at position C. As height is 0, as height is 0, then the total term mgh becomes 0. Potential energy is 0, right? Now, mechanical energy, mechanical energy at position C, right, is equals to Kinetic energy plus potential energy. What is kinetic energy? That is mgh. What is potential energy? Zero. Therefore, mechanical energy at position C is equals to mgh. We got mechanical energy what at position C? mgh. So, at position C, mechanical energy is total mechanical energy is mgh, right? At position B, mechanical, total mechanical energy is mgh, right? At position A, mechanical energy is mgh, right? Thus, the total mechanical energy, that is, sum of kinetic energy and potential energy always remains constant at each point of motion of a body falling freely under gravity, which is equal to mgh. As the body falls, its potential energy decreases and kinetic energy increases. The potential energy changes into kinetic energy. At position A, the energy of the body is entirely potential energy and at position C, it is entirely kinetic energy. At position B, the energy is partly kinetic and partly potential. Total mechanical energy 
stays constant that is mgh throughout the motion of the body this verifies law of conservation of energy right hope you have understood the explanation thank you